Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about another way to use a layout sketch. We'll cancel out of the Begin Assembly Property Manager and go to Insert, Component, New Part. Select the front plane. The sketch is active. Let's create a rectangle and a line corner to corner. Control select this point and the line and add a midpoint relation. Let's convert to construction geometry and apply dimensions. Length 200 millimeters and the width 100 millimeters. Accept. Let's drop in four circles now in the corners. And let's select all four circles and add an equal relation. Let's dimension the circles now, 10 millimeters in diameter. Now let's use the offset entities tool, 15 millimeter offset. Tab key. Reverse the direction by checking here. Select chain. Accept. I'm creating a sketch for what will be a lid and a seal. The line tool now. Right click and chain. Another line and chain. Third line, right click and chain. And the last line, right click and select to close the tool. Now let's activate the trim entities command. We're using the trim to closest method. And last corner. OK. The sketch is fully defined, so let's exit. Now I've got the layout sketch inside part one. What this essentially allows me to do is to use this layout sketch inside another assembly. In my example here, I've designed a lid and a seal. Now let's say I'm in a situation where one person is doing the lid and another person is designing the seal. After both parts are finished, you can basically bring the seal inside the lid assembly as a subassembly. For the remainder of this lesson, we'll further explore using the layout sketch in the part environment. Let's exit. And let's insert a new part. Insert, component, new part. Select the front plane. We're now in sketch editing mode. Let's select convert entities. I'm going to select the segments that I need for the lid. and the four circles, accept, and cancel out of the tool. Exit the sketch. Now let's go to the Features tab, Extruded Boss Base command. Let's create a 5 millimeter extrusion. I'm extruding in the positive Z direction. The seal extrusion in the second assembly will be in the negative Z direction. Let's accept. And let's add some fillets here, maybe three millimeters in radius. Let's place it here. OK. Let's exit the component editing mode and let's take a look at our mates now. Here I've got two in place mates. To make things a little less confusing, I'm just going to delete in place one. Yes to confirm. Let's expand part one, select the origin point, shift select the second origin point, right click, and select mate. Basically, what I've done is mate the origin point of the part with the origin of the assembly and aligning the axes. And let's do the same thing here. Right click and delete in place 2, yes to confirm. SolidWorks asks me if I want to remove references. Let's click no. Once again, let's select both origin points. Now right click, mate. Align axes is checked, OK, and cancel out of the mate tool. Let's save our assembly now. Save. Save all. I'll accept the default name. Click Save. Save internally. OK. Now I'm going to make part one external. Let's right click, save as external file. OK. And let's save the assembly again. 
Let's create a new assembly now. New, assembly, OK. I'm going to click Browse, pull in Part 1, click Open, and Accept. Currently, I've got a fix relation. Let's right click and let it float. Once again, let's just make things less confusing. Right click, make the origin points, align the origins and the axes, accept, and cancel out of the mate tool. Let's insert a second part here component, new part, front plane, and I'm back to sketch editing mode. Convert entities. Let's select the sketch. Accept and cancel out of the tool. And let's exit the sketch. Let's create an extrusion, Features tab, Extruded Boss Base. Let's make the thickness 3 millimeters. Click here to reverse the direction. And accept. Let's change the color of this part now. Right click, Appearances, Part Level. Let's say red. Accept and exit part editing mode. Let's save our assembly. Save all. Accept the default name. Save. Save internally. OK. I almost forgot. Let's delete the in-place mate. Yes to confirm the delete. Now SolidWorks asks me if I want to remove the references. Let's click No. I'll select both origins now and mate them. OK, and save the assembly again. Now go to Window, and let's return to Assembly 1. I'm going to insert Assembly 2 as a sub-assembly. Since we didn't have a fixed component, Assembly 2 becomes the fixed component. Let's right-click on Assembly 2 and make it float. Select Float. Once again, let's align the origins. OK and cancel out of the mate tool. Take an isometric view. Basically, what I've got here is two instances of the layout sketch. Let's make some more changes to this layout sketch. For example, let's make this dimension 150 millimeters. Exit the sketch. One more thing here, it's a good idea if only one person has the right to access the layout sketch. Let's right click and select Reload. I'm going to check the Read Only box and click OK. Now if I try to edit the sketch, SolidWorks lets me know that it's Read Only. I need to click Yes to open it for right access, but I've clicked No. And this concludes our lesson about using the layout sketch in the part environment.